Some of you may have noticed that it can actually be quite difficult for me to move around in this trailer. And it's not that it's small. I mean, it is a small space. But the biggest thing is, is I am not anywhere near optimized for this space. So, in the bed of my truck, I have some plywood, some 2x4s. I have some other, I'm going to disassemble this table that's right here. Or at least most of it, maybe. I'll, I'll get to that. I might not even have to. Um, or at least not all of it. <laughs> I'm going right, to take everything out of here that is not required right now. Actually, everything but that work table. I'm actually going to fire up the generator while it's in the trailer. Drop it down. Take the lawnmower that's on it off of it. And I'm going to take everything out of here that is not that table. And then, I'm going to start building some stuff. But I'm not going to film doing the whole thing. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to just kind of do like a vlog style. Like, hey, you know, I've been doing this for this long. Or, you know, hey, you know, this is what I've done. Like, as I do things, I'll show you what I've done. Kind of thing. <laughs> if that makes any sense whatsoever. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead, get this going, and I will get back to you guys when it when it's cleared. Okay, so I've gotten almost everything out of here. A few things I left in because they're not going to really get in my way. Although that's about to get in my way. And so we're just two here. But, uh, so as you can see, this is actually a really nice size workspace. I did a few things off camera. I mounted this to the wall. Well, there's hooks to the wall to hold up. This, this is part of that Mojack. And then I mounted these hooks to the wall for the uh, power cords. And what I'm working right here, one of the things I need the most is screwdrivers. So I mounted this to the wall. <laughs> and uh, this is the power strip that's going to power mostly everything in here. So that I mounted. Basically, I can start the generator, reach in, flip the switch. I mounted some lights that are probably going to flicker because they tend to do that for some reason with the generator. But, uh, yeah, so it's starting to come into a pretty decent sized space. I think I'm going to take that Craftsman blower and just blow all this dirt out of here. And I'll try to show you some of what. I'm going to be doing next in a few minutes. So, well, I do have that scrub brush I could probably use as a broom. I can't believe I didn't think to bring a uh, a broom. <laughs> I mean, I can believe it, but I can't. So, I got everything out here, and uh, yeah, we'll get uh, started on this. One of the things I just did is I measured how tall my generator is, which is like. 18 inches but I think I'm going to go 24 inches tall on the bottom shelf and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I want to show you how to use a chalk line if you've never used one before because what I need to do is this is going to be a very tricky cut to do and uh, chalk line is going to help I got to, uh, what I'm actually going to have to do is uh, this side here because I'm working alone. Where are we at? There we are. This side here I'm going to actually have to screw to the, to the floor, but that's fine. I'm okay with that. So I'm going to go ahead and start getting a couple of things ready and I will start doing this. So in the unlikely event that this trailer actually is square, uh, at the door, it's 11 inches from here to where I want to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the chalk line 
and uh, see if it's preloaded with chalk or these are only like eight bucks at the hardware store. So yeah, they're I have no problem using them. They do not come pre-chalked. So does this come open? You cannot see a thing I'm doing. Alright, so what makes chalk lines cool is you can uh, you know fill it with chalk. They are going to make a mess, but uh, what I'm going to do, I almost apologize for hitting the, uh, the tripod, but you're not on the tripod. You are on a special mount that I bought specifically for this. <laughs> I need to find that screw I had. I had a, uh, a wood screw. I guess I'll have to get another one. This uh, mount, I'll put a link in the description to Amazon. I'm not a. I don't. All those links were initially uh, affiliate links, but they're not anymore because apparently I don't sell enough for them to do it. Now, if I if I had another person with me, what I would do is have. And I forgot my shirt tape. I would have somebody else hold it, but I'm here alone and I think I. No, I didn't. I, say, I thought, thought, thought I just found that screw again, but that's fine. So I'm going to measure out 11 inches from here and uh, put a mark there. And then I'm going to take the chalk line. Actually, this has a slip thing. Cool. So that actually works pretty good. I don't have to worry too much about getting this out of the thing very much. So I'm going to put a, put a hole in the floor, unlock it. Ah, crap. You know what I did not do is measure out 11 inches here. So this is the line I'm going to make all my measurements off of. Is this chalk line? Then you got to pull it tight and then snap it. And now. There's a uh, line on the floor that I can take all my measurements from. And then the other thing I need to do is make sure that this actually is the size I want it to be. And now I can transfer all the measurements to my to my piece of plywood. So I'm not sure at what point I'm going to bring this back up again so I'll talk to you guys in a little bit so I made some uh, design ideas that are questionable by even my standards but uh, it actually turned out really nice the only thing that bothers my OCD is that because of this gap in the floor it makes this look all center but it's really not but I want to show you something cool so this this is what I used to do that last piece. This I clamped to the um, turn the wrong thing to the door sill there and it mounted the uh, mounted the camera right there. I don't know how well that turned out, we'll see. But uh, but yeah this this is actually turned out pretty good. This is nice and solid. I do want to put a uh, two by four going this way down to kind of support some of that and also in the back just going across this way but yeah this is going to turn out pretty nice I'm going to have I'm going to put my uh, vise here I might actually extend this let me uh, pan you over I may actually extend it down to over here 
So I, so I have two kind of half pieces of uh, plywood. They're a little bit less than half. So they're a little less than two feet. So I might just go ahead and uh, do that there. I think that'll turn out pretty nice because that will give me some more uh, more working area. But yeah, I'm actually kind of happy with how this turned out. I can also set stash the uh, mowers under there somewhat. But yeah, this is actually turned out pretty nice. And uh, I'm going to keep doing some organization and stuff. And I'll get back to you guys in a little bit. So I am a mechanic, but I'm not a carpenter. But I still think that this turned out pretty okay. Uh, this is the... I went ahead and just did the two shelves just like that one. I actually put in some extra bracing, so it's pretty strong. I'm going to transfer my my vise over from the other bench over to this one. Um, I don't know what else I'm going to try to do today. I just ordered some Chinese food. I'm going to go do that because I've been I've been working my tail off. It, I started around 10 o'clock, or not 10 o'clock. I got here around noon, and it's uh, 3:43 now. So I've actually only been doing this for about about three to four hours. So. Not too shabby. Um, I'm thinking I want to put the air compressor in this area if I can get it working, which I will be trying to shoot that video a little bit later today. Um, but yeah, this has actually turned out pretty good. I'm quite happy. This is very solid. It's uh, so it should actually hold up pretty well. Uh, this is indoor. I just knocked my drill over with my uh, elbow. So this is indoor grade uh, plywood, but it's, uh, you know, it is pretty good. So I'm expecting to have to replace it, so I did make sure I made it pretty modular. But yeah, so this thing is pretty, I want to, like I said, I want to put some extra bracing across the back, but all in all, I'd say it's pretty darn solid. And I need to go pick up my food because I am starving. So I will see you guys in a little bit. Alright, so I just had some lunch. <laughs> now I kind of want to lay down and fall asleep. But, <laughs> but I'm getting ready to start doing the uh, video on the air, air compressor. So I'm just going to go ahead and finish this one now. Say, say that uh, this, this isn't everything I need to do. I really need to find out what this is from. But, uh, yeah, I've got a lot of... Oh, that's probably from one of them clamps. Yeah, that is from one of them clamps. Okay. So, I got a lot more I need to do, but this was a big step in the right direction. So, I'm going to go ahead and just call this a video here for now. Thank you for watching. Have a blessed day. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.